this is kind of like jumping into the middle of it. Uh, the reason why is because uh, I was talking to like three different Muslims at the same time. And I thought, you know, if I'm going to make videos out of this, it's going to be very confusing. So I waited to the point where it would just be like one Muslim talking to him. And so I thought I'd begin the video there. Okay, I'll try it here. By the way, when I, use, when I read the Muslim side, I'll be using this side of my face. I'm going to use my side, that side. Okay. The disbelievers are nothing but delusion. Quran 67, 20. Don't tell me. But if I wasn't in delusion, I'd know that the sun really does ask, seek permission to rise again after running to a, a muddy spring to set in, right? To... If I wasn't in delusion, I'd know that embryos really do go through a 40-day blood clot stage and that the sun and moon travel in boats similar to that of Noah. Quran 36, 40 through 43, right? Unfortunately, that is true. What? <laughs> oh, he must be responding to something else I said here. Many people interpret the faith in their own ways, which can be deviant. I take the example of Ahmed of, 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 of Ahmadis, of Ahmadis, which is an offshoot of Islam, who twisted the Quranic text to make a claim that Gulam Ahmed is a messenger from God. ISIS also has sounds like he's contradicting himself. ISIS also has some extreme interpretations where they make a sweeping judgment to, of anyone who opposes them. This happens in any faith or ideology. The way Islam stands out is that among the different sects, namely Sunni and Shia, there is no debate of the nature of God. The same, for example, cannot be said about the Christians. So in a way, the roots of all Islamic sects are the same, but they parted ways later along the road. Do you think you are one of the are, are, are of that sect of Islam to escape the fire. I follow the, the message of the Prophet, orthodox version based on the Quran and confirmed tradition. I am also a humanitarian. Hopefully, this is the recipe to he heaven. What Muslim in one of those sects would not think the exact same thing you are thinking? and yet end up in the fire. Not many. Perhaps the ones who wouldn't care. I believe that most Muslims share the same ideology. Outliers are minimal. According to Muhammad, there are to be 73 sects, sects of Islam. And if nearly 2 billion people make up those sects, that's a lot of people. The Quran clearly states that the main conditions to believe in God, his angels, pre preceding scriptures, messengers, the day of judgment, and the destiny. Now, from my study of the, the Hadith and even the Quran about Allah willing on and off the right path, it seems destiny trumps it all due to Muhammad saying in Sahih, that's authentic Hadith, that after you are a blood clot for 40 days and before you are born, an angel comes to you in your mother's womb with a, des with, with a destiny from Allah to let you know someday whether or not you'll be in paradise or the fire. As a matter of fact, Muhammad goes on to say, quote, you can be one cubit from paradise. Then if the special decree given to you in your mother's womb uh, by the angel uh, from Allah overtakes you in the hell fire, you will over overtakes you, you will go, you'll be in hell fire. You will suddenly take on the actions of the people of the fire and end up in the fire. I guess being one of the 72 sects, sects to be in the fire. Faith must be accompanied with good works. You'd think, but if that Sahih Hadith is right about the special decree overtake thee, most Muslims fit that category. Well, it sounds like most Muslims are going to be in the fire due to uh quote my uma will be 73 sects and only one sect will escape the fire it is god who decides where you end up anyhow 
That is for damn sure. For example, the general rule for unbelievers is hellfire. Unless Allah decrees you to be in paradise, then you are, then when you are uh, one cubit from the fire, the special decree overtake thee and you start taking on the actions of the people of paradise and you go into paradise, according to Sahih Hadith. But heaven and hell are not mine. It depends on the special decree. As a matter of fact, there's a hadith where Muhammad and Aisha see a toddler boy being buried. Aisha says to Muhammad, that little boy should be in paradise being that he died innocent. With that, Muhammad then talks about the special decree overtake thee mentioned in the hadith. And there is a possibility that that toddler may not end up in paradise, but again, the fire. Doesn't matter if he was sinless or not. Being, be, uh, being sinful or sinful, sinless means nothing in Islam, apparently. I don't say, I don't, I don't say who goes where. No one can, thanks to the special decree written before you were born and after you were a blood clot for 40 days in your mother's womb. They belong to God. You mean Allah. Who made the, decide to bestow mercy upon a kafir and enter, in, enter him into paradise? If that is the, if that is the special decree written, uh, sent by the angel into your mother's womb, you bet. That was ample. I do appreciate the time you put into this. Thanks. Okay, my comments. One, you are hung up on some of the ahadith, such as the 73 sects. Really? Well, to complete that game, you say that out of two, almost 2 billion, there are many there are many in the 73 sects. My question, where do you find a breakdown of each sect followers? It takes as few as a thousand people to create a sect. So, only the possibility of a thousand people will escape the fire? Why are you falsely assuming that the 2 billion are divided up into 73 sects? Because Mo said his Uma would eventually be divided into 72 sects, uh, 73 sects, uh, I, I, I guess you don't believe that. By the way, that would be 27,397.26 uh, uh, Muslims per sect. Yep, that is surely what we have today, right? No, I, I think you're right. It can be as few as a thousand. If it is that few that will escape the fire, do you think you will be of that number? So, God's will at inception, blood clot, special decree, special decree hadiths. Once again, an enemy of God takes one of tens of thousands of hadiths and amplifies the heck out of it because it's, it's sahih authentic. Just to make a desperate point, you don't believe in the sahih authentic? You know, I didn't even bother checking the hadith. Afraid you'd see that it is sahih? Well, it is. Matter of fact, I have no problem with it because you know that most Muslims you look at will be in the fire while you are getting the mild wide butts in Jenna. Paradise. I will actually play along just for the sake of the argument. Well, thank you. If the special decree is for the person to be saved from hell, then someone, the person, then then somehow the person will comply with the Quranic belief system and perform good acts as decreed. End of the story. Until they are one cubit from paradise. Mo says you can be one cubit length from paradise. Then the special decree overtake thee, and you start what? Treating your wife with the respect in eating pork. P.S. Let me know if, if, if like to dis dis discuss biblical philosophy in the same regard, go ahead, make my day. Why? So you can prove the Quran is true about the Bible being the before scriptures. The Quran says is all his books you are to believe in and make no distinction between. So you can uh, come to me for my reading of them. See Quran 1094. Three. I just love how you had to intervene to correct my relevance to God 
my, my reference to God to Allah. Seriously, seriously, Allah is the God. That's right. He used to be called Al Illa for the God, but it was changed to into Allah. I wonder if it's Al Illa on the quote eternal tablet in heaven. The Creator, Lord of the worlds, and I can go on giving you know, 96 other names. Did you know I came up with the hundredth name of Allah? I call him Punkster, being that Allah only made it appear that Jesus went to the cross, punking Christians who obey Quran 568 about standing firm upon the torn angel. Since angel centers around Jesus going to the cross and making sense of all the sin offerings and blood tongue described the Torah, Allah's book given to Musa. Ironically, your Christian brethren in the Arab world refers to God in the Bible as Allah. Mormons refer to God as Elohim. Sad but true. It is. His Majesty's name was, the right, was defiled by being placed in that grotesque, man-corrupted, so-called holy text. If you're talking about the Bible, then I take it that you really don't believe in Quran 4, 136, 150, 151, 152, 2, 285, and 40, 70 through 72. That threatens you with a, with being dragged off into hellfire if you are not only not only if you don't believe in all the books of Allah, but if you make distinction between all these books, you don't believe those scriptures, do you? I think I'll quit here. <laughs>